Hi guys, so today I'm going to be reviewing I'm Not Scared by Niccolo Amaniti and uh, Shades of Grey by Jasper Ford. Uh, first off, I'm Not Scared by Niccolo Amaniti. Basically the plot is quite simple. Uh, it's these group of kids and they, as they're playing hide and seek, uh, one of the boys discovers um, another little boy who is trapped in a hole uh, beside this abandoned house. It's the, the story just kind of unfurls from there. Like We find out that this little boy has been kidnapped and, and it's quite hard hitting. And I'm going to talk about the writing of the book. Wow, the writing was really, really well well like composed the author like he had these uh, brilliant kind of like quotable sentences you know your head like john green's books are just like quote and, and this would be another one and you know he'd have sentences very clever sentences where you'd kind of read between the lines um you know in order to discover why this person was behaving this way or what he was trying to say about a certain character it also made the the story uh, so much more more complex because f at a face value it is quite simple just this boy who discovers an discovers another boy in a hole that um next i'm going to talk about um the characters it's michael i think he pronounces might maybe just michael who is really a nine-year-old boy i mean he is a bastard to his little sister maria he's also a very relatable person um so i, I really enjoyed his character one that I have to mention, which was um, Sa or Salvatore, who was uh, Mikael's best friend. But if you guys choose to read this, I'm, I'm actually dying to know what other people think of him because I hated his character so much. He was a little proud. Uh, next, I'm going to talk about the plot. It's very simple, like I said. Um, I think it was much more about the characters that drove the story. So that brings me on to my reaction to the end of the story. So what I'll say is I'll put a spoiler section up here. So if you have not uh, read I'm Not Scared or you do not want to know, then turn this video off now. Um, Mikhail dies. Uh, I've heard some people who who ha don't like this ending, you feel it was kind of a bit of a cop-out. I, as a matter of fact, I really enjoyed it, and I thought it was a really uh, poignant moment. The only thing, though, that irked me was the way that he forgave Salvatore. But then again, I mean, I guess they're nine-year-old children, and they forgive each other very easily. I am going to give I'm Not Scared four out of five stars. It is Shades of Grey by Jasper Ford. This was completely different to I'm Not Scared. That slightly dystopian, slightly uh, Douglas Adams science fiction. So it's about this guy called Eddie. He lives in this world. It's Earth, really, but it's set in the far future. And the people are slightly evolved differently than us. The way that they can only see certain colours. Let's say, for instance, if you can only see purple, you are the top of the social standing. Uh, if you can only see certain shades lower than purple, then you're obviously lower in the social standing and the lowest is grey. Then there's a few things that happen, like um, the mystery involving Spoon. Um, there's also a few things about this girl he meets called Jane. There's quite a few mysteries going on um, that are, you know, kind of propel the story onwards. The characters. For the most part, I enjoyed the characters. I have to say, I did not particularly like the main character, Eddie. Just very plain. On the other hand, though, Jane, who's another main character, the girl he falls in love with in the town, is absolutely hilarious. Like, I literally would laugh out loud reading her little sassy comments. And she's so sarcastic, and she's also really witty as well. And I wish she was in it more, because she only has a few appearances. Plot. The plot I found was the weakest part of this book. It's slow moving, like I at times could not hack it. Like um, little subplots everywhere, and it's it's really just about uh, these comical reaction or interactions between Eddie and the other character. The author's imagination was just astonishing. It was it was jaw dropping. Like throughout all his ideas about the colors and that, I also liked the idea that these humans are not like us today they're they've evolved quite differently they they have smaller eyes like like bug eyes or something they're described and in conclusion um, it's a slow paced book um, 
It is quite funny though, I laughed a few times, very entertaining, and I wish um, that the author had fleshed out the main character a bit more. But uh, out of five stars, I'd give it three. So I hope you enjoyed these reviews, I hope they were helpful, I hope I've convinced you to read them. Or, yeah, leave your comments below, I'd like to get chatting about it. See ya!